Scotty took one look at me and he laughed. <laughs> he laughed at me. <laughs> Dama, I know he, he just he laughed at me. I will say though. I didn't have the wig on yet But I did have the wig cap on so I did just have like the whole the outfit and a and a <laughs> Essentially a bald cap on so maybe I was looking like 1899 slender man <laughs> <laughs> That is a look you guys are too nice to me. You look annoying <laughs> You are disturbed by what you're seeing mojo. I am disturbed by what I'm seeing and it's you being so negative in the chat. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to get my nag on. It's kind of fun, right? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Most popular girl on Nickel Night. <laughs> Abigail fall in love with Arthur. No, Abigail has her priorities all messed up. Out of everybody in that gang, she chose John Marston. I cannot take anything, any decision she makes seriously. Any opinion she forms is just wrong. Arthur Morgan was right there and she said, mm, John Marston, that one who abandoned me and the kid that I've said is his. That's my, that's mine. <laughs> that's mine right there. <laughs> Anyone who picks John over Arthur is a bona fide nutso. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, Rockstar Blue. Poor, poor fans of Abigail. You are in for something else today. Look at my cores, they are so bad. It's gotta be because of the denim jacket. Look how sad he looks. Abigail. Hold on, can I get drunk first? Warm a rum, let's just get it going. Arthur, just keep drinking. It's, it's gotta be like early morning. All right, there we go. Huh. Our first 9.30 in the morning. Abigail. You ever miss your days as a working girl? Oh, shut your mouth, you're drunk. <laughs> Yo, shut hey, your mouth. What did I say? When are you gonna get over this? I'm just asking questions, Abigail. Well, clearly, I touched a nerve. All right. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> Abigail. It's just a simple question. I'm just asking you if you ever miss your old job. Um, do you think I have a denim jacket <laughs> right now? I'm curious if we got the denim jacket at this point in the game. Scout jacket? I don't have it. We do not have it. That's gotta be the reason the cores were so bad is because I've just been throwing myself off a cliffs hoping to get a jacket. You know what? 10, 10 a.m. Honestly, let's just let's just give it a go. I think it was supposed to be 10 a.m. that we were supposed to full send ourselves anyway, so we might as go. We might as well give it a go. Hold on, I'm trying to do this for denim. Chelonia. Whee! For denim jacket, please? I swear to God, if we get it first try, just after that. Can somebody point me in the direction of Abigail? Can somebody point me in the direction of Abigail? I'm just walking around, trotting off all of my liquor. Where's Abigail? Where's Abigail? I'm once again looking for Abigail just so I can cause problems. Anybody seen Abigail? Who's Abigail? I only know basic Abigail. Oh, that's actually so clever. Oh, that's actually so clever, Peaches. <laughs> there she is. There she is. She's over by Hosea. Oh, Hosea's gonna get mad at me. Susan? Morgan. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna have to go dip into Pearson's beer stash. I think it's over... Wait. You drinking a beer? You drinking a beer, Pearson? You look peaky, you look peaky, Mr. Morgan. Get you feeling perfect. Blessed be the bathany on this of the day. Did we? Did we just? We just? We just? We just? Your cores are perfect, Diana. I'm feeling peaky though. Can I take a beer bottle? I need to go antagonize Abigail right now. No, the Abigail is gone. Ah, oh, frick, where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? She's out. Oh, there she is. Abigail Marston. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? All right, Dutch. Can you please hurry up before I lose this buzz? Please, Dutch. I just, I don't want to lose the, lose the buzz. <laughs> Arthur's just wobbling. Wobble baby, wobble baby. Okay, Dutch. That's all that anybody has got. Dreams. 
Ideas. Dreams. It is that Ideas. A Lore. Dutch. Listen. Frick, I lost my buzz. Shut up, Dutch. Please. -ies. Hey, Pearson. Don't worry about me. Just drinking your whole stash. Come on, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. Come on, Dutch. Wrap it up. Oh, my God. What are you saying? What are you saying right now? You know, that's the truth. Can you please go take a nap or something? You're getting grouchy. Abigail! I have to greet. Miss Roberts? You here to pick another fight? Only Come greet. On, I'm fine, Arthur. I'm fine, Arthur. It won't kill you. Yeah, goodbye. Imagine imagine having a conversation with Arthur Morgan and telling him goodbye instead of just being like, it's so great to see you. Is this my... <sighs> All right, let's go find a freaking rabbit. A little later. Abigail Roberts got so hoity-toity these days. Really, <laughs> Arthur? Hoity toity. I remember when she wore so much paint you couldn't see her blush. Why do you do this? I'm just saying. Busiest girl on nickel night back in the day. This ain't even worth the energy. Busiest girl on nickel night back in the day. All right. Pearson, where are you, you lazy bum? I'm here to donate this rabbit. Perfect, thank you. Oh, baby, it's so nice. Put it on. Put it on. Shirt collar, open. Breathtaking, you're all breathtaking. Just so, so much denim. No, we're gonna go into town and we're gonna get some new chaps and we're gonna get some new ranch pants and then we're gonna call it good and then we're gonna upload, we're gonna load the epilogue. Start story mode, not that long ago, so I haven't grown to hate Abigail yet. Well, you just wait. All she does is nag you. Nag, 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 everybody, oh, my son's taken. I've been over here not paying attention. Someone kidnapped my kid. Arthur, can you go save him? I'm gonna do absolutely nothing to help you save him except for run around and complain. That John Marston. He ain't got a bit of sense. All right, pants. Ranch pants. Let's just go with so much denim. And now I've got $500. I can buy as many chaps as I want to. Oh, I forgot about the fringe ones. I do like the fringe ones. Those, I think those are the ones right there. Can't believe we cannot even keep this out. We can't keep it. We're, we're literally just gonna, I'm just spending money to spend money. All right, look at that booty. Show me the booty. Give me the booty. I want the booty. Except for you can't even see the booty. Hey, move it. I mean, you kinda can, but you can't even really see it. You can't even really see it in the, with the jacket. Hey, eyes where you're walking. Excuse me, sir. All right, you know what? We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Jim Milton, you need to work extra hard. He's stinky. John's stinky. There she is. I'm proud of you. Who's my girl? I just don't hit the same. Well done. You got this, darling. This is why Abigail's grouchy, is because John doesn't talk to his horse the same way that Arthur did. Mm hmm. That's my lady. The way that we would lose our minds. The way that we would lose our minds if that was an Arthur horse line. That's my lady. Are you kidding me? The way we would all just lose it. Lady. The way we would all lose it. Except here we are. John Marston. Jim Milton, you need to work extra hard. I love you, lady. The way we would all lose it if that was an Arthur horse line. The way we would all absolutely lose it. You okay, my darling? My darling? My darling? It's honestly not even fair. Hose mad. It's me. I'm Hose. Hose mad. Hose mad. Who's mad? It's me. I'm Hose. Who's a good girl? Not Abigail. John obviously has not been telling Abigail that she's a good girl. And that's why she's always so crotchety. John Marston doesn't make our pony giddy up. True. 
But nothing makes Abigail more upset, I don't think, than John Marston riding into town and having another lady wash him for her. I'm married. Just thought I should say. Oh, you. You can't even take a bath at home. That's the true tragedy, is that we have a nice house that I built with my bare hand. Not me, Abigail. I, I let him do all the work. I left him. And then when he built the house, I came you back. John Marston, what are you doing in Blackwater right now? Who is this lady? And why is she touching you? Too hard. I know I won't do that for you because I got too hoity-toity. You can wash yourself. You're perfectly capable. $18,000 that we've got and you're going to spend 50 cents on this trashy bath girl? See you later, ma'am. Uh, should take the edge off. Yeah, you don't even understand, sir. You don't understand what I got going on back at home. My wife, all she does is sit around and complain. Everything I do, I do for her. And it's never good enough. It's just never good enough for her. Changed careers, built a house with my hands, learned how to be a rancher. I sucked snake venom out of a dog's leg. She doesn't even care. Abigail casually just gonna be reading about Massacre in Blackwater, tomorrow's newspaper. She's gonna come into town to get her picture taken. And they'll be like, wait a minute, ma'am. You're married to that man who killed all of the police force, weren't you? My guns are so dirty. Oh my god. Okay, can we clean these real quick, John? You don't take care of any of the things that you love. Your wife, your son, your guns, all of it. Just laid to waste. Let's go tell her what everything that we've done. I've been a very bad boy, Abigail. I've been very, very bad. Nag me. Abigail, I deserve it. Killed a whole bunch of people, drank a whole bunch of whiskey. Had a bath girl scrub my my unmentionables. Hey you. Ain't you fine? Abigail, you know she's well done, in the lady. You know she's in the house listening to him say all this stuff. Good girl. Like, how come you don't ever talk to me like that, John Marston? How come you never talk to me like that, John Marston? You're more affectionate towards your horse than you are to your own wife. All right, here we go. Hitch the horse. Abigail. Ab Mr. Ab Marston. All right, here we go. And we start drinking. And we start drinking. I got 24 bourbons. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, 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 please. Please, Abigail, you stay right there. All right, things are blurty. Things are blurty. Abigail? Oh, finally. Abigail? Stop annoying me, woman. <laughs> Shut it, you drunk. <laughs> I see you judging me. What are you going on about, John? What are you going on about, John? You're wrong. I'm worse than you think. <laughs> I'm paying you no mind, John. All right, who else is? Who else we gotta go antagonize? Oh, Susanna, won't you cry for me? I've come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Susanna! Hey! Abigail's probably all jealous. Like, who's this? That tramp Susanna you're singing about? Who's that tramp Susanna? You ain't playing the banjo ever for me, John Marston. I ain't never seen you play the banjo even once. You know that you don't have the finger strength for something like that. Much less the rhythm or the talent. Hold on, I hear you talking. Are they all inside now having dinners without me? Family dinner. Oh, baby, here we go. Eat it. Hey, it's so rude. Eat. Abigail? Don't you ever get bored of me? John, that ain't appropriate. Wait, <laughs> he's so rude. John, that ain't appropriate. Why are you carrying on like this? I'm just, listen, your I'm dog just is... joshing you, all right? I'm just a prank, Let's bro. Leave it there. You just pull a hair out of his stew? That's disgusting, Abigail. You just get hair in everybody's stew? Abigail, are you coughing on me? You know I'm sensitive to stuff like that. She just looked over and coughed right in my stew. You know that I'm sensitive to things like this, Abigail. Why is everybody like just pulling hair after hair after hair out of this stew? Who made this stew? She just keeps coughing and pulling hair out of her stew. That's pretty gross. This is how Undead Nightmare starts. The plague actually starts with Abigail just coughing all over. 
Abigail. How are you, Mrs. Marston? I got a useless husband and an angry son. And I'm the happiest woman that ever was. Be careful, you. Hate that. Ugh. All right, well, I think I'm done with this family dinner. It came out good. She proceeds to throw half of it on the floor, like, ugh. Get the feeling. Uncle trimmed his beard while stirring the stew. And that is so repulsive to think about. That's so repulsive. Either that or it's just Abigail, like, finally let her hair down for once. She's probably so cranky. She's cranky because she has a headache from her bun being too tight. Finally let her hair down and all of her loose hair just goes into the stew. Rabbit turned out pretty good, didn't it? Imagine rabbit stew. Imagine rabbit stew without denim jackets. Our useless husbands and angry sons, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. Here in this, this house that you and Charles be built me. Here in this house, I ain't done nothing to deserve this, except for nag, nag, nag. I make sure he tells every bath girl that he's married. Ma'am, please make sure that you keep your hands above the water. Make sure that you're keeping your hands above the water. He's gonna tell you he's married soon, I promise you. Abigail, that's my wife's name. I'm real lucky to have her. Well, he's... this bath's got you quite relaxed, don't it? what I tell you? what I tell you? He just can't help but brag about me. He's so lucky to be married to me, Abigail. That's my wife's name, exactly. I don't normally sound like that. I don't, I don't normally sound like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't normally sound like that. Hello there. So you okay there? Hmm. Cause you smell like an old <laughs> trout. <laughs> you kiss your mother with that mouth. No, my mother died in childbirth, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you guys so much, though. I love silly days like this where we literally... There's literally... There's a hundred of y'all here right now watching me just be freaking Abigail. We did nothing of importance. We did nothing of value, and we just were all goofy and laughing together, and it makes my heart so happy. If you guys have not followed yet, hi. I'm Basic Wig Girl. I stream four times a week. Um, Social medias. I'm Basic Wig Girl everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. Thank you guys for being here. What in the actual frick? You could have spent your Saturdays doing anything. You guys chose to spend it here. This was a little bit too easy and I think that we all know that. 